So what do we know right now? That the speed, the coverage, the performance of Wi-Fi and networking is not where it needs to be for what your customers are putting in. LG just went ahead and told you all about the 4K and the streaming and that. To be able to do this going forward, you're going to need more and more robust systems. The problem is, is that not all of your customers are going to want to pay two, three, four, five, ten thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars for this amazing, amazing network. So what we feel is we have a great product for that. What do your customers want? They want their stuff to work. They don't want to come home and have their phone and, and not be able to control the Nest thermostat because it's not staying connected. Or when somebody rings their doorbell, whatever doorbell system you have for their security, that it doesn't show up on their phone so they can go ahead and control access to their home and have that level of security. They want real support. If they have a problem, they want you to be able to diagnostic and if they can't get a hold of you, they want to be able to talk to the manufacturer and get their answers uh, their questions answered in a very reasonable, quick method. And they want to be secure without having to think about it. Customers don't want to have to keep running firmware update, firmware update, firmware update. They just want it to be done automatically and not have to think about it. So Eero thinks that we have the best solution for whole home Wi-Fi. And that's our Eero beacon and our Eero main unit. It's Wi-Fi so good, your customers will never have to think about it again. So we use mesh networking. We are whole home mesh networking. In the past what you had is you had something called hub and spoke mesh networking for wireless devices. It means that there was a central piece and everything had to go back through that central piece for them to communicate. Eero changed the game by having something called true mesh. Every single one of our Eero pieces is both an access point and a router. This allows for point to point communication. So as your customers go around their home, as more and more devices get added, our product learns those devices that are on there and makes sure that the whole home is completely covered in both wired and Wi-Fi connections. So the entire network is stable and all the devices stay online. A little bit about our background specs. So we are on our second generation. We have doubled the speed from our first. These are tri-band radios inside of here. Two of them are for Wi-Fi to be able to go ahead and connect out to the real world. The third channel is a backhaul channel. That's what allows ours to work so seamlessly. That third channel is what each Eero device communicates to each other. When you go ahead and install this and put this in, you no longer need to put in a router. You no longer need to put in a access point controller. The only thing you need in the home is a cable modem which you can choose to have the customer rent from the cable company, but my advice is go ahead and get a Motorola surfboard or an Aris, whatever the model that's com compatible with Comcast down here. Take control over the wholesale, have all the devices. All you have to do is plug in the modem to this, it becomes the router. It's got two outputs, so you can go ahead and hook up to any switch that you like. Every other era device is up to you how you do it. It can either be hardwired back to the switch or it can float wirelessly. You will get 75 to 80 percent of our gigabit capable performance if you float our Eero's Wi-Fi. You do not have to pull a line. Who here does MDU in South Florida? Anyone do multi-dwelling units? Okay. If you have to retrofit a wire, how difficult is it to pull a wire in one of those if it's already up? because they've got marble floors, they've got you know stone seal, you're just not getting it. This gives you a huge, huge advantage. If you can pull a wire, pull a wire. You guys make money to pull wire, but you don't have to with our system. Only the first Eero needs to be hardwired. The rest of them don't. Each one of these Eero's as an access point is good for about a thousand square feet. If you're doing a pre-wire, good rule of thumb is every 35 to 40 linear feet, if we're talking about a long haul or a big house, that's how you want to go ahead and put these in. Usually that'll give you a thousand square foot blanket. These are real world application numbers. The technology we have in here is 802.11c, so we're using the fastest type uh, radio that is currently available. We're using multi-user, multi-input, multi-output. So it doesn't matter how many devices connect, you will get the same speed, whether or not just my phone and my laptop's connected or everyone's wireless devices in this room here are all connected to an Eero system. We're set up for the future using low power Bluetooth 
and Thread, which is a low-power Wi-Fi capability that companies like Nest and others are using for whole home networking without any electricity. As well as we have the capability of making sure that you have the latest speeds by doing the 802.11 AC. Okay. The beacon. This is great when you need to go ahead and supplement the home's whole home Wi-Fi. This will plug into an electrical outlet. It is not a repeater. It is not a booster. It is an 802.11c access point. It will make sure that that front doorbell or that camera that is on the outside of the home is able to connect because you can put it at the closest electrical outlet. When the customer calls back and says that, you know what, the guest wing upstairs bedroom is not getting great streaming on Netflix, plug it in behind the TV. You have great capability to supplement to make sure that you have coverage everywhere. This gives you about 600 feet. Now this only has two radios in it. It has a 2.4 and a 5.2. The 5.2 is for backhaul. So this is designed to give us longer distances on that 2.4 channel. So the best example I can give you is that um, I live up in Pennsylvania. My home is brick and stucco. I have a ring spotlight cam and a ring doorbell both mounted on that material. Wi-Fi doesn't like that. So what I did is I went ahead and put one of these in my garage outlet. And it basically makes sure that every single day when I'm on the road traveling as the regional manager, I can see what's going on on who's coming up to my home from those devices because they never drop off because I was able to have a solution. I don't have to rely on one that's in one of the bedrooms or somewhere else. This has a built-in nightlight that is fully defeatable. We went ahead and tried to go ahead and design it to still allow the electrical outlet to be used. So plug it into the top outlet. You don't have to worry about taking up two outlets by plugging this in. And like I said to you, the nightlight is completely defeatable if you don't want it. We're on our second generation, just to quickly recap. Twice the power of the first, we are true tri-band, true mesh, which makes our Wi-Fi work better than anyone else's without the need of hardwiring every single device. We added a third radio to make sure that happens. The throughput has increased 70% from our first generation and we get 1,000 square feet in range. This, like I said, can be your router. If you have to use some other type of router based on your installation, based on some other security protocol or something else, you can put us into bridge mode, but I'll go into in a little bit later why you want to use us as a router. You should be billing what your time and value is worth. So if you're going ahead and pulling wire, we do have a solution for you. We have now released a piece that allows you to go ahead and install the Eero using PoE Plus by pulling a cat line and putting it into the ceiling or putting it into a wall. It is not just a simple piece that just gives it power from an ethernet pole. What this does is anytime you put an access point into the ceiling or a wall, you now introduce a solid surface that that Wi-Fi is gonna go ahead and spread out over. What we do is we actually have an IP address for our piece. It will let Eero know that you have went ahead and installed this. And what will happen is because Eero manages all its information through the cloud using a proprietary algorithm, we know that you've installed it in the ceiling or the wall. We will go ahead and adjust the beam forming of the radio inside there to go ahead and overcome the fact that it's sitting on a ceiling, sitting on a wall in a less than ideal position for the strongest signal possible. We want you to be able to use this both in new construction as well as retrofit. So this can go ahead and install in a single gang a pre-wire box, a retrofit single gang, dual gang, a cagnal or round. The whole pattern will allow you to go ahead and install it in all of those. You go ahead and use just two set screws to go ahead and screw into your junction box. You go ahead and plug in the USB-C and Ethernet cable into ours. You go ahead and set it with a screw and then it mounts in. It is one of the smallest tri-band AC POE capable access points that you can put in. A lot of people don't want utilitarian or industrial looking products spread throughout their ceiling and home. This is no bigger than any smoke detector that's being put into a home. If you need to be able to hide it, 
put it in the wall in the closet, put it in the ceiling in the closet. But most likely, most customers will not have a problem, and after you know a small amount of time, they won't even know it's there. We manufacture all the hardware. We also go ahead and manufacture all the software and write all of our own code. We are a vertically integrated company. The hardware, the firmware, the software, the cloud, and the application are all done by Eero. The great thing about that is if anything needs to be improved, if anything needs to be security patched, we do everything. We're not waiting for a third party to do it. We get our hardware uh, on the chips from Qualcomm. Everyone uses the Qualcomm chipset. We're not unique in that. We completely scrub it down to the bare bones minimum, then build it up. We go ahead and we write all our own firmware. So every operation, everything that we're doing that is very different than everyone else is all done in house. The software, our app, how we run in terms of both for you as an installer and for our consumers is revolutionary. Before us, no one had a consumer facing app that allowed customers to actually get feedback on what was going on with their network. So, security. We went out and you don't have to memorize these names, but these are two very, very well respected firms that try to find vulnerabilities in every system. So far with Eero, not a single one has been found. We also go ahead and we run about 30 to 36 updates a year, making sure that the performance of the access points as well as the performance of the security is top notch. Because we do everything in home, we're able to get the best performance, the best security, as well as the safest um, technology for your customers to be able to have all their devices without any compromise. We don't think that security should be a trade-off. So, Everyone at Eero is an alpha tester. We have our group of beta testers. Usually when we find a vulnerability, we're able to go ahead and be much more proactive and have it out to the field quicker than anyone else. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to set up an Eero system. You really can send any technician out. You don't need to be a network engineer. This is what's great about our product. You can go ahead and deploy this without having to take your most seasoned tech and pull him away from other things so you can go ahead and get the most important system, the network up and running on a job. So, we are app based. So you're gonna go from the modem into the Eero, into the switch, and then the rest can either be hardwired, like I said, or you can go ahead and go wirelessly. We cannot go after the switch, otherwise we don't have a delineation of who is the actual route. You will program up our system using an iOS or Android app. It's going to ask you, is the home one story, two story, three stories? Is it square? Is it rectangular? It's going to go ahead and have you identify where the cable modem is. It's going to have you unplug the modem, plug the Eero into the Ethernet port of the modem, go ahead and plug everything back in, and Eero will start doing its thing. It will go ahead and set up everything for you. It will find the device. It will go ahead and set up an initial IP address. Don't worry. If you need to do static IP addresses, you can do that later on but the initial setup will go ahead and be that. It will have found the Eero. It asks you to name what room it's going in. It will go ahead and set it up. It will ask you to create a name, an SSID, and a password for it, and then your network has now been created. This takes five minutes. Seven if we have to do a fairly large former update. Once your network has been created, you can go ahead and add your other Eero devices. It will go ahead and let you know um, where to place them. If you've put them in a bad location, it'll ask you very nicely, hey, can you please go ahead and move this? After that, your technician will go ahead and do something that is different than the consumer's app when a consumer would set this up, is transfer the network. This will take the network off of your installer's phone and put it onto your remote network management system. We have the ability for you to see what is happening on your customer's network. So you take the steps, you go ahead and put in the customer's name, their email address and phone number. It lets the customer know that they have an Eero app waiting. The customer will go ahead and download it. If the customer's phone is there and you offer full service, you can do it for them. It will double check to make sure you want to do this before you transfer. And then it will transfer it off. And then it will give the customer the Eero app. You have to be signed up to be able to sell Eero and purchase it from your distributor. If you haven't done so already, you need to go to pro.eero.com 
and sign up. It allows you access to create your installers. It allows you access so you can have your remote network management. And it allows you to purchase Eero at your wholesale rate through your distributor. Um, Audio America can go ahead and answer you what the pricing is. You're able to access your dealer portal, which has training for your installers. It has marketing for anyone who puts together email blasts or print campaigns. We've got some really, really, really nice quality stuff. It allows you to go ahead um, and get videos that you can post to your website that show how Eero work and how uh, great it is as a feature. And then, like I said, you need to set up your technicians, you can do that, and then finally access to the remote network management. You're also able to get level two dealer support. If you have an issue, our dealer support is open from 11 in the morning to 11 at night for seven days a week. Sorry, five days a week, 11 to eight on Saturdays and Sundays. You bypass the consumer. They're based in Austin, Texas, so you're talking to someone in the United States. They have a genuine interest in making sure you succeed with this product. So why Euro Pro? We give you whole home coverage of for Wi-Fi for the entire house. You don't have dead spots. You don't have devices not staying connected. Your customers are not calling you with problems. Everything is really easy to set up from our app. Any of your installers can go ahead and set up an Eero network. Your more advanced can go ahead and do the stuff like the static IP, the port forwarding, um, the reservation of IP addresses, and anything else you need to do that you would do on any other normal network. Our devices consistently stay updated by making sure that they have the latest firmware, latest software, latest security. So your customer is never gonna have an outdated piece as well as you don't have to worry about consistently uh, going back to a customer's home to update the software. And then finally, you guys have fewer returns and fewer go backs, which cost you a lot of money. Why being your pro continued? Dedicated dealer support. You get your discounted pricing from your uh, distributor, and you get assets and tools to market everything. The product that you are selling is unique to the pro channel, not available to consumers. So the remote network management, the ability to install at POE, customers cannot get those pieces, cannot get that software. It makes you the reason to sell them Eero and for them not to go to Best Buy and pick it up. And then finally, Every first purchase, you get an additional accommodation that will go ahead and lower your landed cost off your first purchase. So you can go ahead and use it for your showroom, use it for someone's house, test it out, play with it before you put it in your customer's home. And finally, like I said, seven days a week for our tech support. You can email them, you can go ahead and contact them through the website. You can go ahead and give them a call. They will go ahead and make sure that any issue that you have is resolved. And if they don't have the answer, they will go out and find it for you. And that's Eero.